What's up, Fisher people? Rolled up on this bank and there was just a ton of side image marks. So I figured if we can get a bunch of fish to go, we'd do something with it. Jigging a crawler. Like as many as were in there, I kind of thought if they're the right fish, it'd be a first cast scenario. That's usually the way that goes. Let's see what the crawler does. 16th ounce jig? Or should I use a lighter jig? Heavier jig. I'm not going lighter than that. I had the boat in five feet and I was seeing them off shot. So they're like still really, really shallow fish. And I scooted out just so I didn't spook them while I was setting up the cameras. What do I got to do to get these fish to bite? Are they walleyes? Are they carp? I don't know any of those answers yet. Turn around, trolling motor. You're in my way. Come on, fishes. Wake up. Oh, something just bit that and ran with it. It wasn't much of a bite. There he did it again. <laughs> what are you? Didn't take any of the crawler off. Perch, white bass, smallmouth, carp, suckers. I don't know what these are. That's kind of what I was hoping they were. It was a stack of wally bangers. Oh. <laughs> what are these? Look at this sweet little Fraybill thing. Ice crawlers. Just got it this morning. Kind of a slick deal. Crawler cooler. 16th ounce jig and a crawler. Like, you can't get more finessey than that. How can I not get these fish to have it in their mouth? Less tail hanging? What is the mystery pot of fish here? Surprised that paddle tail didn't do anything. Oh. Oh! Well, whatever that was got my jig. And there's a smallmouth bass swimming around the boat. That's not what I caught. Is there another school of pike in here? What the deuce? That was definitely a heavier fish there. Whatever that was. We will figure this out. I promise. What do you think they are? Any bets? I think they're walleyes. But they're biting funny. 16th ounce jig and a crawler. Let's dial up another. And they just slurped it off the bottom. And I haven't even checked to see if they're like loaded on this whole bank or not yet. At some point I'm going to have to slide around. But I'm just sitting there and then eventually that line snapped tight. I got the boat in five feet. Casting into two or three. Title of the video, Jigging a Mystery Pot of Side Imaging Fish. Why is this taking so long now? They're still just stacked out here. Oh, there's one. I want to get a side image shot. Let's see if he bites while I'm doing it. Oh, broke again. What in the world? <sighs> they must be pike. Bite this, you punk. This is getting frustrating. Why won't you bite the plastic? Oh, fruit crying out loud. Let's try a little VMC Hammerhead 8th, which has a pretty slow fall rate. These things almost kind of fish like a 16th. If I break off three in a row, I think I'm going to leave. I got 10 pound mono. I suppose I could put on my heavy duty 14 pound floral leader and figure this out. Oh, come on fish. They obviously want crawlers. I haven't tried like a crankbait or anything, but still on side imaging. They're not gone. Now the last two were heavy fish. I don't think I'm going to like, if I feel anything, I'm just going to set the hook before it gets swallowed. All right, let it sit on the bottom. Just freaking loaded. Oh goodness. Is that 16th really the difference? There's too many fish here not to figure this out. Why won't they bite the plastic? Why won't they bite an eighth ounce jig? Come on. This is so weird. <laughs> well, it didn't break that time. 
<laughs> what in the world is going on? There was weight there when I set it. Might have just been the weight of the crawler eventually snapping. I don't know. Can you feel weight on a hook set if they just have the tail of the crawler and no hook? You'd think that crawler would just snap right now. You'd never feel anything. Still seeing them out here, so I'm gonna jog forward a little bit. We gotta catch one. <laughs> Slip bobber. So frustrating. Ugh. What are we dealing with? This is the weirdest thing ever. Weirdest bite ever. If I wasn't losing jigs, I'd just like give the line slack and let them chew on it for a few seconds and then set it. But having lost two jigs, that seems dangerous. And why don't they bite as frequently as the first three? Here we go. Picked it up, let it go. Picked it up. There we got one on. What is this? It is a walleye. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a freaking walleye. Why are they being so weird? <laughs> Light hook set. Just kind of pull into it. But he just swallowed it. It's all the way down there. <laughs> oh gosh I'll do a longer cast cover some more water this is funny maybe they'll start chomping a little bit more it's 840 sun's coming up like it's been a hot year we've talked about that in previous videos but even the surface temp 75 like you still might be dealing with 65 degree water down where the fish are so it's not like you need to burn spinners through here at 100 miles an hour. So I, I guess I understand why they're still kind of fickle. It's still weird to me. I wouldn't think we'd have to do this to catch fish. Maybe if I did pull spinners through here, it'd be a way different story. But I thought I was seeing them in like two or three feet of water. That's four or five. I can pull a spinner two to three. That's tough. I've been on so many weird fickle bite scenarios this early season on the east end of Sakakawea. Most of them happened when we were doing minnow stuff though. It's less surprising. At crawler time, 75 degree surface temp time, you'd think they would be a lot more just wham. Maybe I'll work it more aggressively. Let's see if I can trigger a better thumper. Oh! Are you guys having fun yet? Is this fun to watch? I don't know. Is it excruciating and painful to watch? It's excruciating and painful for me to do. Finish the job, fish. Finish the job. Come get it. Certainly don't have it after that. I've gotten a fair amount of bites by the time I get near the boat and I'm almost vertical too. Like they followed it and then the more vertical you are, the less it moves every time you pull it. And it's like, it slows down and they get a chance to catch up to it. I don't know. Weirdest bite ever. Bite it. Got one. Got one. What is it? It's acting like another walleye. It is another walleye. <laughs> that one bit it a little harder. That one bit it a little harder. They're not big walleyes. So that's perhaps part of the deal here. They're nice eater fish though. 16, 17 inches, you know. And he pinned it to the bottom. So that's probably been part of my problem. So he tracked it down here. Stuck in the net. He just pinned it. And then we hooked him underneath. I don't know why my jigs would break in that scenario i saw it and explained the break offs but explained some of the missed bites he stung me a little bit fair play fair play walleye i probably stung you a little bleeding all over my rod 
Oh, there's a bite. I'll just drop it back to him so I don't mess with him. Is he still there? No. Come back. I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. Get more ahead of him, get tighter in, I think. Work that whole thing in three to four foot instead of five. Oh, that was a bite. What a weird bite. Oh my gosh. They are so fickle. But we're kind of figuring this out and they're all walleyes. Every one of them. Every one of them is a walleye. Cookie cutter, 17 inch walleyes. Is it the same fish over and over again? I doubt it. That would be weird. There's a million marks in there. So if it was the same fish, don't worry, it's not the fish's blood, it's mine. <laughs> if it was the same fish, yeah, it's just not. So I'm just like putting pressure on them when I'm feeling that stuff to make sure it is a fish. And then I feel like I got his weight and instead of just that, I wanna feel that, that pull. And then I just kind of lean into them like a, like a swinging hook set, like a sweep. When I do that quick pop for some reason, it won't get them. But if I just kind of lean into it, I seem to be able to get them hooked up. I don't know why that is. If you know why, let me know. It feels more like a Lindy rig hook set, a slip bobber hook set, something different. But I seem to get more bites when I, if I move it a little faster now. And then when I get the bite, I slow down and assess. Jigs and minnows, you normally get more of that thump and you just set the hook right away. The jig and crawler thing is a little different sometimes, but I've seen this before, especially with smaller walleyes, jigs and crawlers. They're really good at just like grabbing the back end of it, I think to taste it and then figure out what they want to do with it. That's actually a bass. No, it's a drum. <laughs> The old barn door. I figured there'd be some other species in here. We're still in that sort of time frame where everything is up shallow. Whether it's a drum, a pike, a bass, a walleye, a catfish, everything's still using the shallows despite the massive warm up we've had. Just trying to show you off, slapping my wrist. Man, so the fact that I can see them on side imaging right here tells me that I should still have my fish behind me, but even if I scoot ahead a little bit, I still got more fish up here. And every once in a while I have jogged forward a notch or two to get on new fish, just in case the old ones are kind of tired of the game that I've played with them. They've seen that crawler dance through their bunch. They either bit it or they didn't, and two more on the side. Oh, that was a pike for sure. For sure a pike. <laughs> that jig was gone before I set the hook. <laughs> God dang it. That was 100% pike. Never had a chance. No more pike. Did you hear that? No more pike, no more pike, no more pike. No more pike. That sheep's head hit it right by the boat. Oh, that was something. Felt like I had him. But as you can see, just the tail. Think that I'd learned my lesson by now. It's an old Chris Daughtry song. You ever heard that? After this cast, I'll turn off the cameras and just see if we can rack them. Sure is fun getting those hook sets on camera though. I love that. That's the best part is the hook set. But you gotta get a stack of fish that are biting frequently to do it. When you got big space of bites, it's hard to do that. That could be heavier. Pike or walleye? Oh, wow. Carp? What are you? What is this? Gotta be a pike, right? No, it's a carp. 
If I can get the carp in right here, I'll keep my camera on. If not, no, I'm gonna turn it off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is this another carp? Oh no. If it's a walleye, it's a state record. No, it's a carp. I see him on the surface. Thought maybe you wanted to see one of them. Thanks for that. There's a bass. We got some bass in here finally. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's just a cute little guy. <sighs> cute little guy that can do some damage. Thought the walleye bite would pick up with the wind, but I haven't gotten one since the wind started blowing, so I don't know what that's all about. Got a boat coming in behind me. He's gonna troll some bottom monsters around me, I think. Fish the deeper water. Godspeed, sir. Another carp. Another carp. That's my third carp. Getting tired. Yep. There are. This is another carp again I'm going to leave. Oh my god. I've never been on this hot of a carp bite. This is the most carp I've caught in a day on Sakakawea before. Before. Before, before for sure. That's what I was trying to say. We enjoy watching the videos. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. I don't know if that walleye bite quit or what, but it's been a while. And my mark's kind of vacated, so I slid up here a little further, found another decent pot of fish. We'll throw out them a couple of times, but I'm almost out of night crawlers. So if I don't catch another fish, uh, you can assume I moved on with the rest of my day. Maybe like this video, maybe subscribe to the channel, maybe contribute on Patreon. We'll see you later, fisher people. Bye. Peace. Oh my god, carp number five, come on. Well, it was better than sitting on the couch all day. Come on. Get the camera.